Okay, a quick tutorial on including JavaScript and jQuery inside a block code. So I have this block, these two are actually the same. So I'm just going to work with this instance of it. I want to just include my JavaScript file first of all. So in my block, the main.blockphp file, I can uh, access the global page variable. I can then say page requires JS, give it a new URL to this file, module.js. There it is. So module.js, I found that in the docs. You can call it that. That can live in the JS folder as well. For now, it's just there. In that file, I'm just going to activate this uh, alert hello world. So now this page, or this, this block, should be including that JavaScript file. And when I refresh, we should see uh, alert hello world. So let's just do a refresh. There we go, hello world. Now I know that this file is being included, this JavaScript file, and the JavaScript is running. Second step is to actually get jQuery to run. So two ways to do that. Easy way, you just do page requires jQuery. So that's the global page object. And this requires the built-in version of jQuery in Moodle. So it's valid code, it's older code, but it still works. So then Again, in the module JS that's been required um, over here already, I'm going to go and I insert my jQuery statements in there. So I've got some jQuery function here running on when I click all instances where class is button edit. So on my page, these ones are button edit. So I'm going to refresh and we should, when we click them, uh, get an alert with the data row ID of the button. So when I click there, that's row two, that's row five. So now I know my jQuery is running. The second way, which is the more uh, modern way of including it, is to do this, where you say you can leave out on here, you can leave out that comment or that, that statement. So I can take that out. And then when I require this module.js, in that JavaScript file, I can do a require of the jQuery module. And in there, I can then have my jQuery statement. So when I run this now, it's going to work exactly the same. I just required it in a different way. So that's still a valid way to also include the jQuery. So I like the other way. For now, it's a lot simpler. So just for testing, I'm going to stick to requiring it like that. Right. Now I wanted to do a data table and I found this, uh, this data table, which requires us to include data table dot minify dot JS. I think I went with the full one. Let's just see. I put it in the JS folder. Uh, data table dot minified dot js so we require jQuery then I do along with module dot js I do page requires another js file in the js folder that plugin file that I downloaded and um, they give us a method uh, that we need to include over here JavaScript so that method so I'm putting that in the module.js file there it is because we know this file is being included so i'm putting it in there first though we require the plugin file so that when this is called that actually exists so when i refresh this page that is the data table there are five pages so i can actually skip between the pages and the data changes and I can filter, so I can go up here, there it's a filter, or I can filter by this column, which is like looks like subjects, mathematics. The nice thing is that the HTML that I've got here in the block, so that's a table containing all of the rows. So there it is. That's a table containing all of the rows. And the nice thing is that when I filter here 
it filters all the data on all the pages. So that's quite significant. It means that you're not running back and forth with Ajax. That means that all the data that you fetched at first is in this table here. So again, to just require that plugin, my HTML was rendered. I then required the plugin minified file. And in my JavaScript folder, I chose the JavaScript implementation. I could use the jQuery as well. Just for this video, I just got the JavaScript method going. Now I need to also bring in the uh, style sheet because then my buttons at the bottom will look correct. But anyways, that's an in overview of using jQuery or JavaScript and bringing in a plugin.